Hello and welcome to another edition of the Avid Screencast. My name is Christian Förster and for this week's episode I'll do something suggested by a YouTube user. His YouTube name is Instant Slugger, which I think by itself warrants an episode. And he was watching a video on YouTube and it's this video. And what he was interested in is the transition that will occur within the next couple of seconds. So let's have a look. There was the transition. As you can see, it's kind of like an, a, a curtain opening. And that's why I'm calling it a curtain transition. <laughs> and he was calling it that too. So um, as you can see, it's like, it's kind of really like a curtain opening. And within a couple of frames, revealing the background video. And as you can see here, the curtain turns black, probably because the outgoing video <laughs> ended. And, uh, but, you know, anyway, uh, the curtain is opening and reveals the background video. And he was asking me whether I could show how to do this uh, within Media Composer. First of all, I was thinking, geez, I would never do that in Media Composer. I'd probably do it in After Effects or Motion or something like that create a couple of shapes and animate them and you know then render them out as a mat but uh, once I was thinking about it it's actually not that hard to do in Media Composer and so that's what, we, what we'll do this week when we're done it should look something like this there you see we have the same curtainy kind of thing going but first let's get started I have already two tracks of video, one for the outgoing video and one for the incoming video, and I have overlapped them by uh, 15 frames because our transition will be 15 frames. You can, you know, uh, change that duration any way you like. Now we need uh, another layer for uh, the actual curtainy transitiony thing. And uh, we'll add edits at the beginning and at the end of the transition. And now we'll add an effect, and it's the good old paint effect. So go to Tools, Effect Palette, Image, and drag and drop the paint effect onto the empty track. There it is, the paint effect doesn't do much at the moment. So let's go into Effect Editor, and zoom out of our video. And now what we're gonna do is uh, build a, a mat, a black and white image that will uh, create the curtainy transition. So first of all, let's draw a rectangular shape all over uh, the whole image. And this one will be black. You could also start with uh, with white and draw black bars on it, you know, whichever way you prefer, because you can later on swap that transition around. You see what I mean later on. Make sure to draw this shape very very close to the actual uh, image. You know that you know doesn't have any technical reason or anything. It's just a usability reason because. We'll draw different uh, shapes over this first rectangle. And if the large rectangle is larger than the other shapes, then sometimes you can't select the other shapes because they're under the uh, giant rectangle shape. So let's make this rectangle shape as small as possible and uh, make the other shapes larger than the rectangle so you can't select them. You know, sometimes it's really sometimes a pain in the ass, and uh, sending it backwards or something like that doesn't you know change anything about it. And then you have to move the rectangle around just to get to the shapes beneath it, and you know it's it's horrible. So trust me, draw this uh, rectangle <laughs> as small as possible. Okay, now this is uh, our background, and now we'll draw white shapes over it. Uh, a couple of bars. I'll I'll use four of them. So let's draw four white rectangles and we'll not uh, really draw white rec rectangles but we'll change the mode from solid to invert. This will also draw a white rectangle there 
see it's it's still white but you know now i'll draw a couple of more rectangles and check out what i do if one rectangle crosses the other it inverts itself and that creates for some for some very nice effects so i'll draw four four shapes and of course we'll start out with really small shapes so okay and now let's add a keyframe uh, in the center of our transition you know you don't necessarily need to you could also animate it straight from the beginning from the beginning to the end but i think it looks nicer if you have some more movement within the transition so let's add a keyframe at the center and select the center and last keyframe so now we'll start actually animating and you know animate away make this one larger and move it around a little this one too this one as well something like this see now i've <laughs> now i've 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 uh, selected the the big rectangle and i can't get to the other ones if i try to select them but i can if i if if they're outside <laughs> outside the box so maybe something like this let's let's watch it from the from the beginning to the center they can see it already starts nicely curtaining and let's go to the last keyframe and now we'll animate the rest of course at the end we'll have to uh, be at a at a pretty much all white image so let's make one rectangle really big and then the other ones will make really small again And now let's watch that. There you can see it's a pretty nice curtainy effect. And of course you can, you know, change around the animation any way you like. But I think it looks pretty nice the way it is. Okay, now we have our paint effect. And we're done with that. So let's quickly render this. And of course right now it doesn't do much. We're going from the outgoing image to a oh, black and white mad and then to the other image. So we'll need to key this with a mad key. So go to tools, effect palette, key, and alt or option drag the mad key on the paint effect. Now you can see it keys through, but just the wrong way round, right? <laughs> we're going, we're cutting from our uh, outgoing image to the incoming image, and then it transitions to the outgoing image, and we're cutting back to her. So we'll have to invert the mat key, which is very simple. Just go to Effect Editor and say Invert Key, and we're done. There it is. You can add a little whoosh, you know, I like that kind of stuff. <laughs> and then let's play it. There we go. We have a nice curtainy transition. So I hope Instant Slugger, <laughs> you enjoyed this. <laughs> and now you know how to do it. And I hope all, all of you other guys uh, liked it as well. I think it's it's actually pretty cool. Maybe I'll even make use of this uh, at work because you know it's pretty simple to do and uh, and a nice effect. 
All right. Thank you for watching uh, this episode of the Avid Screencast. If you like, go ahead and subscribe to the podcast at avidscreencast.com. And don't forget to follow me on Twitter, twitter.com slash avidscreencast. And on Facebook, facebook.com slash avidscreencast. If you like my site, like it on Facebook or whatever. And if you want to know what kinds of things I do professionally, check out editguy.de. There's a website that I need to update <laughs> sometime. Um, again, thanks for watching. See you next time. Goodbye.